Hello everybody, welcome back, and here's part 14 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. When we last left, we finished going through the sunken ship and defeated Jonathan Jones, and now it's time to head back to Seaside Town. Uh, and also joining me today, we got uh, Rise of 51. Oh yeah, that was my cue. <laughs> yeah, hello everybody. <laughs> yep. And um, he's going to be joining us in a future race we got going on, for, which is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and we're glad to have him here. Oh, yeah. Very happy. Yep. Now, I should mention what's going on here. Now, you're actually forced to give the fake elder the star piece. Okay? Because every time you say no, then then uh, he'll attack the real elder. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, and if and if if you choose for the fake elder to attack the real one, then your reward for freeing all the real townsmen is is not as good. Right. Defending Mario for once. A boss that will actually help Mario. That's a twist. <laughs> yes. So I guess, like, one, once you fight him, you earn his respect. I like that. <laughs> yes. And now here's the boss, which probably isn't one of my favorite ones, Yaradovich. No, he's pretty annoying, especially this attack. Oh, yes, like... As if he does two water blasts in a row and you don't heal in time, then then you're done for. Pretty much. Oh, wow, really? Huh. Well, that hammer might have done a little more than just two damage. I know. I, I was surprised myself. Yeah, that's actually strange. And... <laughs> oh, I forgot, I forgot the hurling glove actually is pretty funny. Yeah. Now, I gotta say, my player's guy actually suggests using Mario, Toadstool, and Mallow, but I disagree because um, I find Bowser to be a very strong person, like, physical attack-wise. Hmm. I think I used Mario... Yeah, I actually did use Mario, Toadstool, Peach as well. Or er, Toadstool and Mallow as well in my uh, battle against Yardovich. Hmm. But yeah, pr true, though, Bowser does pack a bit of a punch, so that would be actually useful to have. Yeah, and the only thing that Toadstool can you do that is useful is her group hug. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't bring Toadstool into battle until much later. Oh, okay. Bowser. Oh yeah, Mirage attacking. This one's actually pretty easy to recognize if uh you're, I believe you're doing less damage, yeah, then that's the real one. If you're doing more, then that's the fake Yardovich. Yeah, you you best avoid the fake Yardovich. Right. But, it can't have a few... Okay, I guess not annoying attacks, but it does have some... Attacks that... Eh, it's not as bad, I would guess. Oh, yeah, I like that one. What? What? Okay, I don't remember piercing doing that much damage. 116, wow. That's nuts. Hmm. Ooh. The grief, wow. Freebies are nice. I I can never figure out actually what the freebies. You know, you, know, you get like an extra turn or yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. If you get a freebie, that means like like you get the same item back. 
Oh, that's right. No wonder I kept getting rock candies every time when I did the Culex battle. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, I saved my uh, rock candies for Culex as well. Yeah, they really come in handy for the battle. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, have, if you've only watched, like, uh, Dragon's LP of Super Mario RPG Revolution, you know, Culex is way more tougher than he is in the original. Yeah, I did notice that. Um, I'm guessing that's a hack version of, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a more difficult ROM hack of this game. I can see that, because it's a lot harder to get to do a lot more damage to the, uh, your enemies now. Looks promising, though. And the dirty number kills Mallow. <laughs> uh. So what is Yardovich's uh, weaknesses again? Uh... Yeah, his uh, weak point is Mallow's Shocker ability. So, uh, basically, he's weak to Thunder. Ah, uh, okay. So, any, any electric attack, good deal. Yeah, and I find Mallow's Shocker much stronger than his Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. Somehow, I think I've been in trouble timing. Do you have to, like, do it as soon as the lightning, like, strikes down, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's tough to time that. Before I found out, like, when I was playing Chrono Trigger, um, there that you can pause during battles, I thought I would not get the chance to do that. Huh. Oh, jeez. Dang, Mal. Yeah, is the problem is, like, unlike this game, Chrono Trigger is, uh, not turn-based. Huh. Yeah, people have been telling me about trying to play Chrono Trigger, and I never had a chance to get to it yet. I mean, you check that out. Yeah, well, um, I uh, I have this thread on the RPG Maker magazine that uh, that where I where I explain my progress during my first playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out then. Yeah, yeah, and I also plan to um, LP that game in uh, August of 2013. Oh, sweet. Should be promising then. Oh yeah. Shaky. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, they really... You really have to work to get the, the six-star piece. Oh yes, it's, it's going to be a long time before we see that. Yeah, first time you get quickly. The sixth one, though, you got to really work for it. Yeah. That's okay, though. Plenty of uh, leveling up and such for bigger and better challenges. Yeah. That's the best reward you can get. It gives... Was it a 5 or 10? It increases your FP by 5. That was 5, okay. Yeah. How works is flower tabs is 1, flower jar 3, flower box 5. Ah, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, and they give you all the good stuff that you could have gotten.
So, what would you consider, in your opinion, maybe the best accessory you have for your um, allies? Well, I try to follow what my player's guide suggests. Like, they says the Mario has the safety badge, and um, Toadstool has the rare scarf, which I will, will be getting later, and Bowser has the Jinx belt. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't... So you're not actually planning on using the uh, lazy shell armor? Oh, I will be using that. Oh, okay. For, you, uh, you asked me about accessories. Oh, that's right. Uh, lazy shell armor is... That's an armor I... Wow, yes. I'm off today. <laughs> uh, I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah. And not since you LP'd it, huh? Yeah, that's about... Jeez, I think it was actually almost a year ago. I'm actually playing it again now, and apparently I lost a croc. Uh, I faced Crocko the second time. And apparently, I I should be lost, <laughs> and I've never lost him before. Well, did you get to at least like the second half of that battle? Yeah, I did, and I forgot to heal with Mallow, and it was down to me and Mallow. I just had to hope to get lucky. Uh, Crocko will miss with those chomp attacks. Oh, all right. Now you're about to see an Easter egg, which I did not show off in my Let's Play. Oh yeah, Samus. Yeah. Yeah, after chapter five, uh, Samus will be there asleep. Yep. Sa and Samus is resting up for her mother brain, as you saw it. Yep, she's getting ready. And I thought I'd show this off for funsies too. Oh yeah. I don't think I ever showed that off the Beetle game here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so you have to keep going until... I guess you die. Yep. Hmm. Oop. The Be Beetle used Swift Attack. It's super effective. Yeah, I'm using, like, the Wii Classic controller, so... Sadly, there's no turbo option on there. Ah. Uh, oh, damn. It's rain, red shells, no hallelujah, though. Should. So you're besides Culex being up, I, I, I guess Culex may be the hardest boss of this game. But uh, who is there a boss in this game? You, I guess you think it is as hard as Culex. Uh, well, I would definitely say Jinx, even though he's an optional boss. Yeah, Jinx is pretty challenging. The three times hit. Yeah, each time you face it does get harder, but yeah, he's he's a pretty good uh, challenge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that oh, yeah, that box. I always had trouble with that. There we go, success. I thought I'd bring Gino into the battle. Yeah, he's gotta have a little fun too. Yeah. Guys, I find Gino to be like another strong ally. Oh yeah. Octovader, the evolved former Darth Vader. In future Star Wars in a future Star Wars movie coming out to you soon. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Gino World, the one hit KO move if you time it correctly. Yep, and it only works on one boss. 
Yep, Hexor. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that until I watched some speedruns of this game. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I remembered actually watching a friend of mine from, uh, Clusterfuck Comms. He actually... He really didn't waste any time with it. He just took out the eye, did it with Gene World, and, uh, on X or quickly. It only took him, like, maybe, like, a minute or Five two. Five minutes? Yeah, a couple minutes, yeah. That was pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's a lot easier than just to, just trying to beat Xer the normal way and having to waste like ten minutes on him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's a particular item from those straw coins that will actually come in handy for you in the future. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah. to show that off because I forgot to do so when I was here earlier. Ah. And this time, unlike my LP, I decided not to go down Midas River. Oh. <laughs> Especially at the part where I am right now in that game. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, expert is too challenging, so I decided not to do that mode. I can agree with you on that. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even chance it. No, they won't. No, they they fall if you choose special mode. Oh, okay. Oh, then this isn't as bad at all. Yeah, I think it's just the bullet bills move faster. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
three at a time. Okay. And it's still not hard. Nice. Alright guys, that's it for this video. We will catch you back next time. Yep. Later, folks. See ya.